having a good time so far today in the Lord? <clears throat> what do you call a pastor in Germany? Pastor, a pastor in Germany. A German shepherd. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Today is a Children's Day, but it is also a month where we honor our pastors. So today, we just want to take a brief moment and recognize Pastors Appreciation Month today. Is that all right, church family? So I'm going to ask our pastor, and I think to be joined by his family, the elders as well as representatives from um, children's ministry and women's ministry, <clears throat> excuse me, to make your way to the front. I think pastor's wife just took Levi. That's, they'll, they'll be here in a moment. They'll be back quickly. Uh, she, steps out, she stepped outside with him briefly. So while the elders are making their way to the front, while um, uh, women's ministry is making their way to the front, and while children's ministry leaders are making their way to the front, <clears throat> we'll begin. Excuse me? Thank you. I'm trying to clear the throat. I don't know. I'm getting choked up just thinking about, uh, what, what, uh, thinking about our pastor. So our pastor has... Amen. Amen. And uh, he's been, him and his family, joined us in, was it January of 21? I think January of 2021. So we're a little over uh, 21, 22, almost three years into his uh, tenure here with us, and so far it has certainly been a blessing with him and his family, and we are uh, waiting on Sister Dotton and Levi to make their way to the front as well, because when you pastor as a married parent, you never do it by yourself. You know, I was first elder for about a year when we didn't have a permanent pastor, and it made me realize that that's not my calling. <laughs> that it takes a special person and a special family around him or her to be able to fully lean in to pastoring in a meaningful way. I have fortunately been in churches here, Tallahassee, as well as Houston, where I've had pastors that lean, leaned in. I've heard horror stories of pastors that you can't call during the week because they never answer the phone. Uh, there's a story of, uh, you know, pastors that are engaged in every other activity during the week, Adventist pastors, and uh, don't have time to really shepherd the flock, to visit members, to call members, to provide counseling as needed, to... Um, uh, to make visitations at hospitals and at homes and to do home blessings and, uh, and these types of things. So we are very happy and fortunate to have Pastor Dotton as a pastor that leans in to ministry. The other day, I, 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 you know, I, I called him and uh, he was, I said, man, let me hang up because, you know, I, I don't want to disrupt whatever he has going on. But, he, you know, he called me back and said, no, let's have the conversation. We had a brief conversation. I let him go back uh, to his family. So I, I appreciate that he has a balance of understanding. Sometimes we need him, but he also makes time for his family. Is that true? Sister Don, am I lying? She says yes. She says yes. So we'd like to uh, offer you a couple of gifts here. First, I'd like to bring up uh, children's ministry to make their presentation to the children. I don't know if you'd like to say anything. You just want to give them a gift. Well, um, to the Dotton family, we appreciate you so much. From the very first moment that we met you until today, um, you guys have become an active part, and we just want to let you know that we not only appreciate you, Pastor, but we appreciate you, Sister 
well, Mulaney, because I know you like us calling you Mulaney. And, um, and the children, they are just such a joy, and they're such active members, and just always willing to do whatever we um, call upon them to do. So we just thank you, and we're just so privileged to be a part of your village. So we have a little presentation to both Levi and to Brooke. Levi is going to make cars in the future, and he already promised me one at cost. He said, I just have to pay taxes and fees. So <laughs> now it's public. Everybody knows. I'm going to hold him to that. And Sister, Sister Cummings has some, a presentation from Women's Ministry. Amen. Okay. If this phone will cooperate. It didn't. Okay. Um, let's start again. Lord have mercy. On my soul, this phone, don't like it. Oh, it's not doing it. Okay, so I'll speak out of. So it takes a special person to be a pastor's wife. She has to accept his calling as her own. She has to make sacrifices. And I watch Sister Dutton and those beautiful children. When there's communion or when there's a special day, they don't get to go home. They get to stay here. When pastor has to visit, they have to go too. And it takes a very special woman with a kind, loving, giving, caring heart to do that. And Sister Dutton, we want you to know the women of Tabernacle appreciate you for the model that you have, uh, for the example that you give of such gentleness. It's like a glove covered with velvet. She is so soft-spoken, and yet she is such a strong woman. So, Sister Dutton, we want you to know that we appreciate you outside of Pastor Dutton. We want you to know that we love you, and we hope that you enjoy the gifts that we have so lovingly placed in this little modest basket. One time we had to do visitation at the church. We were doing the visitation maybe about 4 o'clock. And I told pastor, I said, we're not getting there till about 4 o'clock. Why don't you take your family home? And then you just come over here because it's going to be long. And he says, no. Nah. So they came over, the whole family. I don't think we left there until we left about 8 o'clock. And y'all were still there. It turned into a much bigger thing than we initially thought. And the family was there. And uh, so it really is a family that, that takes part in ministry. So that's why we wanted to honor and give them gifts today. And uh, Sister uh, Dorsey, about to say your maiden hey. name, has been a long time. <laughs> so on behalf of all the families here at Tabernacle, I'm representing Family Life. And we're so happy to say thank you to Pastor Dotton and your whole family for serving as an example to all of us. Um, in how to carry yourselves and how to minister to those that we come in contact with. And so we just want to thank you, and we're just glad to have all the elders here. But we want to say thank you to you for the service that you have provided to us. And many of us as individuals, we're getting calls. You have to deal with us as ministry leaders, and we are truly, truly thankful for your ministry here at Tabernacle. Amen. Now, it's not enough for four flights, but it's enough for a staycation. It's a great staycation. Um, so let's, at this time, I've asked Elder Simmons if she'd be so kind as to offer a special prayer. We're pastor and the family. We're asking the elders to surround them and uh, lay hands if you're able to so we can have this special prayer over Pastor Dotton and the Dotton family. I just want to add to the visitation after communion, you know, and we have to go to the people that can't have communion all I have to say, Pastor, I'm riding with you. And the whole family, we're all gone. We're <laughs> going to the different places, but specifically Sister Reese's uh, apartment. It's always a privilege to go uh, with Pastor. And at this time, I just want us all to uh, bow our heads and just say a silent prayer in your heart in regards to our pastor that the good Lord has sent here. And uh, at this time, Pastor Dodd and I just want to uh, be hidden behind the cross. I've been saying to the Lord, 
I say, God, please, please, Heavenly Father, please let me speak those words and pray to you through the power of your Holy Spirit that you alone can answer. So right now, Heavenly Father, our great God eternal, King of kings and Lord of lords, heaven and earth bow down before you because you're worthy to be praised. As we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise, we come before you to present your manservant the one that you've brought from the east and the west and from afar and north and south. To minister here at Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church. You've brought him in a time when he did not even recognize what would happen as soon as he got here. In the loss of his mother, Lord God. But you've strengthened him. And you've upholded him. And you've kept him even through that time. Until now, oh God. You've ministered to him. And Lord, I know that you have big plans for him. Plans, Lord, to bring him up a little higher. Plans, Lord, to help him to open up his mind to take in the things that you have in store for him. Father, we give you praise and thanks for Pastor God Dutton. We give you praise and thanks for Melina Dutton. Brooke Dutton. And Levi Dutton. Thank you Lord for this family that you've brought here. To our family. Thank you Lord for embracing him. And covering them. And binding them together in your cords of love. At this time Lord we ask for your special anointing. Lord not just anointing an ordinary. But a special one. Internally. Externally. Above. Below, above all things that he could ever ask or think for. Father, we give you all the glory. Because you're sitting there waiting to endow your servant. With everything that you have in store for him. Way before he came to tabernacle. And so we thank you for being a generous God. A God of patience. A God of kindness. Our God of compassion. Our God of forgiveness. But most of all, our God of love. And he's the minister, Lord God. I pray, Lord, that you go before him. Behind him. Above him. Below him and his family, Jesus. And beat back the winds of strife. And anything that stand up against him. Let them know, Jesus. That they stand up against you. And no weapon. That is forged against you. Shall ever prosper. So right now Jesus. In a mighty name. In your mighty name. The great God eternal. I ask Lord that you will touch him. Touch him. Touch Malina. Touch Brooke. Touch Levi father. And saturate them with your gift. Of love so that as they go out they'll go out with you and Lord when they come in they will come in with you there's no other way but your power and your presence to flow in and through them I'm also asking Lord right now you'll go to that house <laughs> father I pray that you'll saturate it with your blood I pray Lord that you'll match everything that's in that house that is not of you anything that will look to disturb our pastor anything that will look to cause him to think that he does not have enough because greater are you that is within him than he that is in this world so bless his home lord set your angels with that flaming sword of god at his doorpost jesus and I pray, Lord, that you will continue to beat back the enemies. Enemy of jealousy. Enemy, dear Lord, of selfishness. Enemy, dear Lord, of grudge against our pastor. And Father God, make him a statement. 
to the world, not only a tabernacle, but oh God, let when they see him online, Jesus, Jesus, that they will know that this is a righteous man, anointed by the Holy Spirit of God. And I thank you, Lord, that when you shall come, that you not only take the waiting congregation with you, but our dear pastor and his family and his extended family. I am asking, Lord, that your will, glory to you, Jesus, will be done on this earth as it is in heaven through this shepherd. In Jesus' name I pray and I glorify you, Father. Amen and amen. Praise you, my God. Praise you, my Jesus, Amen. for your worthy, your Amen. worthy. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Triune God. Amen. 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 Glory to you. Glory to you, Father. Glory to you.